Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at applying vector textures to illustrations in Illustrator. Before we begin, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com and there's a referral link for each of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family and friends. Let's swing back to Illustrator and here I have an illustration already complete. Now you'll see if we go to the layers palette that all of these objects are just paths in the file. So before we start, we need to group them. I'll select over everything and choose object and then group. And that just puts them as a single group in this document. Now my grunge texture is from a website called Vecteasy and you'll find lots and lots of downloadable vector textures here. So it's vecteasy.com. I've already downloaded and opened my texture file. It's here and I've isolated the texture I want to use. So I've just selected it. I'll choose edit and then copy. We'll go to our ice cream document and choose edit and then paste. I'm confirming that it's going in the same layer as we're working on. That's pretty important. You'll also want to make sure that a setting called Paste Remembers Layers is not enabled. So let me just size up this texture so it's where I want it to be. I'm going to the fly out menu and I'm making sure that Paste Remembers Layers is not enabled here. If it were enabled, it would have a check mark beside it. So once you've confirmed that, you'll go back here to the document. You can see I've sized my texture to cover my ice cream. I'll select my texture again and this time choose edit and then cut. I'll go back to my group and I'm going to select it because I want to paste my texture into this as a transparency mask. I'll choose window and then transparency. And in this dialog here, we're going to click on make mask and that brings the attention to this little box here and we want to select it so that we're working on it. So it have a little surround around it. That's really important. We'll choose edit and then paste in place and that will put the texture back where it came from. So it's just in the exact same place as I copied it from. Now we need to bring back our ice cream and I'm going to turn off clip and that has done it. You might need to click one or more of these check boxes just to see what you're getting. Now in this case, I want white to show through where the dark areas were. So I'm not having invert mask selected, but if I inverted my mask, then I would get a different effect. That's not the effect that I want. I want to be sort of eating away into this ice cream. So once I've got on the screen, everything looking the way I want it to look, I'll click back here on the ice cream. Now that's critical because you won't get access to the ice cream in the layers palette if you don't do that. Let me just show you. I'm going to reselect my ice cream. I'm going to target the transparency mask and you'll see here that it says layers opacity mask and opacity mask. You're not editing the actual ice cream. So if you want to work back with the ice cream, which of course you would want to do, you need to make sure to click here to stop editing the opacity mask and go back to editing the document. So this is now an ice cream that's got holes eaten away in it and those holes are eaten using the transparency mask. It's a way of poking holes in things if you like. Let's go and put a rectangle behind this shape. So I'm going to choose object, arrange center back. And as you can see, the holes in the ice cream are taking on the color of what is behind the ice cream, proving that these are not just little white flecks in the ice cream. They're in fact holes in the ice cream. I hope this has been of help to you to understand how you can apply textures to shapes in Illustrator using transparency masks. Now you can do this with vector textures, but you can also do it with bitmap images. So if you've got a JPEG texture, you can use that in exactly the same way. I hope this video has been of help to you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.